Hi everyone, my name is Molly Vanko. And I'm Shannon Garvey. And we're here to announce the new mascots. We're both seniors at Unionville High School and we're both members of the mascot selection committee. I'm the student council president. And I'm the USAC president, which is the Unionville Student Athletic Advisory Committee. And so basically we're here to just talk about what the new mascots are and uh, kind of like the excitement and the buildup. So over the last four months, we've spent countless hours on zoom um, seriously like if you think online school was a lot of hours on zoom being on the mascot committee that's a lot of hours yeah so we've uh looked over 500 submissions from community members other students um alumni to decide on what our two finalists are for the mascots so the committee consists of um, a lot of students and um some other coaches that work at the school and um some teachers. Anyone else? Um, Am I missing anyone? Alumni and other staff oh. members for the district mm -hmm. and uh, community members. Um, so we wanted to take this time today during this virtual assembly to give you a little background information on the two mascot finalists that we have decided on. Um, so sit back, you know, eat some popcorn and take your masks off because you're probably at home. So relax. <laughs> um, the speech and debate team has volunteered to talk on behalf of our two mascot finalists. So let's um, hand it over to our first uh, member of the speech and debate team, Arya Zucci. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Unionville High School for tonight's matchup. On the visitor's side, doesn't really matter. On your home side, seems like you got two choices to me. Kindly step aside or get run over. Give it up for your Unionville Stampede! Hello everyone, Eve and I are here today to debate the two mascot finalists, Stampede and the Longhorns. I stand before you to advocate that this, the Stampede be the next mascot of Unionville High School. A Stampede is a group of thoroughbred horses, symbolizing a team of unique horses that coexist in a group. Already, with just a brief definition of this mascot, we can clearly see how it meets our first guiding principle of embodying the entire student body. A stampede, no matter what the specific type of animal, is a group of animals that are charging forward together. The idea to highlight here is that the animals are working together, for a mascot, for which for a mascot represents the entire student body coming together as one whole group. Let's delve a little bit deeper into the definition of a stampede. Our mascot would specifically be a thoroughbred horse. Pennsylvania, specifically Chester County, is rich in history relating to the racehorse. Specifically in southern Chester County, learning the ways of a horse is a family affair with skills that are honed and treasured for generations. Unionville has rich history dating back numerous years with the hilly, field-like terrain allowing for horses to thrive. Not only is Unionville known for its horses, but Pennsylvania as a whole is well known as a state full of horses. We can apply this second guiding principle here, which mentions how we can possibly acknowledge our school and area's history. To this, I tell you that we are both honoring the people in this area who have worked with horses for years, but are also honoring the area in which we live that is full of horses. The thoroughbred horses easily meets the fourth guiding principle of respecting our values and standards. Thoroughbred horses are known as race horses, which are a highly respected and valued type of horse. To have this as our mascot would show that our standards are high, as these horses are intelligent, athletic, spirited, and bold, essentially exemplifying the traits we see at our students at the Unionville High School. Discussing more as to how we would actually implement this mascot, we would have countless ways and options we could take. Specifically speaking about guiding principle number five, we would be able to have horses wearing ribbons to represent a racehorse or groups of horses in our school colors. This mascot would allow us to take many different stylistic approaches with our blue and gold colors in regard to spirit wear. And with all of these guiding principles in mind, for these reasons, I urge you to vote to have the Stampede as our new school mascot. I am now ready for cross-examination. Okay, Aria. Let's start specifically on guiding principle number six about the uniqueness of our mascot. What is the best way for us to maintain a unique but not too obscure of a mascot? We're going to be able to maintain a unique yet not obscure mascot because the Stampede, while it is essentially a, um, a concept mascot, we're going to be able to focus on having that idea, but also focusing on the fact that we have um, essentially a mascot, which is a thoroughbred horse. So we're going to be able to, the Stampede is essentially unique and the thoroughbred is also a unique horse that is specific to our area, which maintains its uniqueness. Great. Uh, 
Next, let's talk about like the idea of a school mascot. Like an ideal school mascot generates significant amount of pride and excitement within our actual community. How will the stampede be adequately able to meet this standard? A stampede, by definition, is something that is essentially charge a group of animals that uh, usually cattle that are char charging forward, and they are very um, aggressive in the sense as well. And so, when we have this as our mascot, we're going to be able to generate a lot of pride, whether it be in sports, academics, or whatever uh, essentially regard you want to take it into. And so, the students are going to be able to rally behind that sort of aggressive, uh, prideful moment, moment, and are going to be able to embody the stampede or thoroughbred horse. Yeah. And let's talk about this stampede specifically. Uh, you already mentioned that this is more of a concept mascot. How would we as a school be able to avoid being too vague with our mascot instead of having a very solid one, like a specific animal? There are, well, the thoroughbred, while the, um, sorry, the stampede is a concept mascot, we're going to have the thoroughbred horse, which is going to essentially be our actual uh physical mascot and a lot of concept mascots have actually proven to be very successful like the Alabama Crimson Tide or the Philadelphia Phillies. They aren't actual mascots but they have a lot of meaning and I think our students are going to take value in the stampede. Awesome and then I guess my last question is specifically with our school the U has been a crucial part of our logo for many years and I think a lot of people want to keep that. How will we be able to integrate it into our new like mascot new logo if we do the stampede? That's a great question. Originally, like when you first look at a horse, you don't really see anything that could resemble a U. But specifically in regards to a thoroughbred horse, they wear horseshoes because they race a lot. And this horseshoe kind of symbolizes a U, so we can still keep that U as a big part of our school pride and culture. Uh, thank you. That's all the questions I have. Okay. The Stampede is essentially the best mascot for Unionville High School. There are multiple reasons why. It essentially meets all of the basic guiding principles that we have in place for our next mascot. On the first one, the first uh, guiding principle is essentially saying that we have, um, it embodies our entire student body. It, it embodies our entire student body. And the mascot stampede does this perfectly because the thoroughbred horse is, while each, it has a bunch of unique horses in a group that work together. And a stampede is essentially going to uh, symbolize a group of a individual unique people working together, which is why it perfectly embodies our student body here at Unionville High School. And on to the second guiding principle, which is how we can relate to our area and uh, like our community as a whole, Unionville has a rich history, specifically Southern Chester County, in regards to racing horses, and thoroughbred horses are a perfect way to symbolize this. And uh, Pennsylvania also as a whole has a lot of rich history regarding horses and thoroughbred horses, and so symbolizing our school using a stampede, which is essentially a group of thoroughbred horses, is going to be perfect to do this. The guiding principle number three is school pride. We're going to be able to use this perfectly with a stampede because how stampedes are aggressive in nature and are essentially um, they rush forward doing things together and so that can symbolize our student body working together to do things and es essentially achieve goals together. The fourth guiding principle is respecting our values and since a thoroughbred horse is such a highly regarded horse as it is a race horse we can use this and it essentially proves how thoroughbred horses are very respected, intelligent, and uh, symbolize students at Unionville High School. And on to the fifth guiding principle, we can talk about how easy it is going to be for us to uh, incorporate this into our day to day life, whether we use the U as to symbolize a horseshoe or if we put ribbons on a horse that are blue and gold, it's going to be very easy for us to do this. And the sixth and last guiding principle is uniqueness. We're going to have a lot of uniqueness as with the Stampede as our mascot because I not many schools use a concept mascot, especially high schools. And so having a stampede as our mascot is not only going to give us a uniqueness factor, but we're going to have a very nice mascot as a thoroughbred horse because each student is going to be able to relate to this and then also have the mascot as uh, the, the stampede as well. And for these reasons, I think that the stampede should be Unionville High School's new mascot. Wow, pop off Aria. <laughs> that was great. Well said, <laughs> making me feel like a fool over here. <laughs> Wow, I really liked what she said about the stampede, about like acting as like a unit. Yeah, and, and like how spirited uh, the stampede, like the thoroughbred horses mm -hmm. are and how much that represents our student body. Yeah, and I feel like no other high schools really have like the abstract Yeah, it's mascot. so unique. Yeah, she made a good point, like the Phillies. I mean, even though Alabama's kind of the worst, <laughs> I mean, she makes a good point. She makes a really good point. Mm -hmm. Let's turn it over to the cheer team so we can really envision how the stampede will be as our next mascot.
great job by the cheer squad. Yeah, super spirited. Um, so let's turn it over to our next member of the speech and debate team, Ibrahim Qureshi, and he'll present on our next mascot finalist. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Unionville High School for tonight's matchup. On the visitor's side, who cares? On your home side, you better steer clear. And that's no bull. Give it up for your Unionville Longhorn! Hello, I'm Ibrahim, and today I stand before you to advocate that the next mascot of Unionville High School should be the Longhorn. The Longhorn, if you're unfamiliar, is a breed of cattle which is known for its unique set of horns, which are big and pointed. In fact, these special horns help the Longhorn meet mascot guiding principle number five. We can form the U in Unionville with the horns, translating to attractive and identifiable branding for the school. Plus, unlike certain animals, the Longhorn is not specifically one color meaning that we can incorporate our signature blue and gold motif with little trouble, and which makes it easier for us to keep our great school colors. In addition to having aesthetic potential, the Longhorn has deep historical roots in our area. In the 1940s, the famous King Ranch from Texas had a problem. Droughts in the West had decreased the quality of grazing land available for cattle. To solve this problem, the King Ranch bought the Buck and Doe Run Valley Farms in the Unionville area and transformed them into the working cattle farm. Longhorn and other cattle were shipped here by rail from Texas, feeding and preparing them for slaughter. Even until the 1980s, Longhorn cattle were still seen on the farmland. Today, you can drive not only 10 minutes from the high school and see a group of Longhorns near Northbrook, grazing peacefully. All these facts demonstrate compliance with the mascot guiding principle number two. By honoring our local history and uniting the school with our community past and present. In regards to mascot guiding principle number four, the Longhorn is a mascot which respects our entire community while reflecting our values and standards. Through the public submission process, the Longhorn was proposed a good number of times by both community members and students, meaning that this name has lots of support in our UCFSD area and has been carefully examined by our mascot committee to ensure that the Longhorn is not exclusive or misinterpreting the community in a negative way. When it comes to mascot guiding principle number six, the Longhorn meets the criteria of being unique but not incredibly obscure. The Longhorn is a popular animal which is known to most people, young and old, meaning it is not too obscure an animal to use for a mascot. However, it is also unique, specifically in our area. While other schools may use the Longhorn as their mascot, no schools in our Chessmont League or the surrounding Philadelphia area use it, making it the only bovine high school mascot around. Simply put, the Longhorn provides a unique link to our area's rich agricultural history while respecting our community and its values. Therefore, I urge you to vote for the Longhorn as Unionville High School's new mascot, and I stand ready for cross-examination. Let's talk about grading principle number one. How does the Longhorn represent an entire student body? And what positive qualities does the Longhorn, does the Longhorn confer? Great question. The name Longhorn, unlike other mascots such as the bull, is a gender neutral term, which means we can have a more inclusive mascot for a whole student body. Plus, the Longhorn is a strong and tough animal, representing the fortitude and strength of us here at Unionville. Plus, the Longhorn is also an intelligent animal that is able to adapt to situations easily, both of which are positive traits that Unionville students have and we want to show pride in. With a mascot, it's important that we have fun traditions to generate pride and excitement. So, as to meet guiding principle number three, how could the Longhorn encourage excitement and participation from UHS students? The Longhorn mascot gives our school many opportunities for spirit. As the cheer squad will, can, can show, the possibilities for actual cheers and traditions are endless. Plus, we could actually have a Longhorn mascot costume, something we haven't had in a long time, which allows, which allows for us to build more fun traditions with the actual physical mascot. For example, the Longhorn could put on fun halftime shows at football and basketball games, as well as come and hype up students at pep rallies and assemblies. In addition, we could also bring an actual Longhorn here to show to people what, how great the Longhorn is and have a really cool mascot. Great. 
My last and final question for you is that a lot of people associate Longhorns and Longhorn mascots with the Western U.S. and Texas. How would our mascot make itself unique from these traditionally Western mascots? Well, we can't change exactly what people think. However, there are certain characteristics and designs that many Longhorn mascots in Texas and other Western states have that we can avoid. We would be able to avoid well-renowned Longhorn designs and strive to make ours visually unique. Plus, by spreading awareness about those deep history about the, of the Longhorns in our area, we could create a new culture at Unionville revolving around the Eastern Longhorn, one which will definitely separate us from these Western notions. Long story short, the Longhorn is a great choice for a mascot for many reasons. When analyzing the mascot through the lens of the guiding principles, it is evident that the Longhorn meets each standard, sometimes even exceeding them. With guiding principle number one, the Longhorn embodies the positive traits of strength, resilience, and intelligence. A mascot is supposed to be a visual representation of our school, and I can say with certainty that the Longhorn will represent Unionville with pride. In addition, the Longhorn is neither male nor female, meaning that we can make sure the mascot is inclusive for all. The Longhorn also has deep historical roots in our area, and this is history we can be proud of. Not only is our agricultural community well represented by the Longhorn, but the importance of conservation is represented as well, as the lands of the Buck and Doe Run Valley Farms where the Longhorn lived are focal points of conservation efforts today. Opportunities for participation and excitement are infinite with the Longhorn, and there are no shortages of cheers, traditions, and other fun activities we can do. Along with opportunities for engagement, the Longhorn has the potential to be an attractive logo. Our blue and gold color scheme can easily be incorporated into the design, and we can create fun, original art. We can create a great Unionville brand with a recognizable design everyone will love. Finally, everyone knows what a Longhorn is, which means it will not be too obscure, and there are also no Longhorn mascots near us. We can create a fun design to make our Longhorn truly unique from other Longhorn mascots that are elsewhere in the United States. Unionville is a great school, and we deserve to have a mascot that we can be proud of. The Longhorn will convey the strength of the students, the flexibility to change we have, and much more. Plus, in order to unite the whole community, we need to have some force we can rally behind. If you want a mascot that is sure to be a hit, make sure to cast your vote for the Unionville Longhorn. Thank you. Nice job, Eve. Okay, Ibrahim. So mm -hmm. That was very impressive. Yeah. He had a lot of good points. Really well said. Yeah. Any of your faves, Molly? Um, <laughs> I really like how you talked about how powerful the Longhorns are and how, like, unmatched they are in their power and their drivenness. Yeah. No, and I really liked how he said that we can have that, like, in our student sections and we can actually have a mascot that we can dress up as. Yeah, so. definitely. I think both Arya and Ibrahim raised really great points about both mascots. Yeah. All right, let's kick it to the cheer squad to hear how the Longhorns would sound at our school. Take it away, Longhorns! Take it away, Longhorns! Take it away, Longhorns! Take it away, Longhorns! Take it away! cheer from the cheer team they killed that popping off <laughs> well i think that's a wrap of our um online digital ceremony yeah i mean that was great we have two great options the longhorns and stampede are some of the best mascot options yeah. around yeah so you really can't go wrong but go out and vote yeah it's up to you guys to decide what our next mascot is you have 48 hours yeah. So, so it'll go to the whole high school and some eighth graders. So. This has been a really long and thorough process, but it's been so much fun to help decide mm -hmm. what the next mascot is. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys for joining us today at this virtual assembly. And I hope you guys um, have fun on deciding what our next mascot is. See you in school, hopefully. <laughs> go in Unionville.